Hey YouTube, this is Nash Taters. Welcome back to another episode of War of Divisions. Today is Tuesday, so tomorrow is going to be a brand new day in terms of showcasing us brand new content for the week. And this week, I feel like it's a little bit short in terms of stuff to cover. I could cover the wolf mask. I could cover the, the I guess, the challenge. But I think it's better for us to wait when that comes. And of course, the AI card is going to be a very, very good card. I think almost everyone should probably go after. Now, obviously, if you're short on Vizior or Gems, then obviously you can probably skip for now. Because it's going to be in the database, like I always say. And so you don't have to worry too much about it. My only suggestion is that's going to be one of the better cards in the entire game for a very long time, I think. But given the situation of what's going on in the JP server, we are looking and shifting into a brand new direction in this game. And that is perhaps we're going to be seeing a lot of new units in terms of, I guess you could say they're older units. They're going to be getting a lot stronger, going to be getting a lot more attention because of the EX25 job quest level 25. So it's possible that we want to probably go back and revisit many cards and equipment and espers and whatnot to try to pair them up with some of those older units. And I think next week I'm going to start covering some of those units to see perhaps we can maybe take a look at them and see if they're worthy of building now before we get the overhaul of those units. But for today's topic of conversation, I think many of you guys might find this very interesting because when we first started playing this game, when Global was released, was something that a lot of players wanted to do, but probably couldn't do. And now approaching about seven, eight months of gameplay and longevity of the game, it's time to really take a good and deep dive into these three units that I always fell in love with in the beginning of the game. And I'm approaching quickly in getting all three units to be potentially taken for a spin for a ride. So let's go ahead and take a look at these three units. So the three units are, of course, the Trinity Sisters. And as you can see, I have Murmur finished. Now I did do a review on her, but of course it was done on paper. And I never actually took her out for a spin because, well, I never leveled her up. But with the recent direction change on this free-to-play account, I think it's a great time to really feature her in terms of seeing how good she is in PvE and PvP. Now, already I've taken her for a ride in PvE in terms of using her for the tower. And I'm learning she is pretty good in terms of resistances, obviously. And we can go ahead and pull that up. As you can see, solid 60% magic resistance. And I haven't even done anything for her. So it's going to be fairly easy to say that she's going to be a very, very good magical tank. And look at this. Strike resistance, 55%. I mean, these are all innate abilities here, folks. I haven't done anything. No, nothing equipped. So I think it's fair to say that it's going to be one of those situations that if you hone in specifically on targeting those resistances, she can be very, very good in terms of tanking for you. So overall, I think this is a pretty solid unit for PvE. In terms of PvP, I do notice that she is much, much too slow for competition-wise. But if you're casually PvPing, perhaps you can actually take her in conjunction with her two sisters. Now, I know I'm not supposed to keep working on UR units in terms of building future ones, but I am going to finish all the ones that I'm actually currently working on. And Whisper is definitely one of those that I really want to finish. As you can see, she's a little bit more than halfway in terms of getting there for her final limit break. Now, her mask is going to be really where she's going to really, really need it. Slash resistance up 5, strike resistance up 5, pierce, pretty much the whole works. Everything is going to be plus 5. Not so much in... HP, but mind you, it is an accessory, so it's not too shabby. And it does give you additional TP. So this could be used for pretty much any of the Trinity. Well, actually, you know what? Let me make sure. Yeah, she can pretty much be used for any Trinity sisters. So uh, ideally, if you need that extra 5% in terms of finally boosting one of those specific resistances to plus 100, this is going to be a great TMR for them. And actually, let's see what the... Consumes own HP, so he only raises defense and spear for one turn. So that's actually pretty solid because you can use this and target another one of your allies. So yeah, so when you have the three sisters, they're going to really help each other out. Obviously, I haven't really finished building her yet because she is not so close to 
let me break four but i think she's fine at level 89 so i will do that when the time comes i need to work on some proficiency and her staff is actually very very good so not only is she going to be really good in terms of support and by the way her damage isn't very great like using holy i only do maybe half the damage compared to say some of the other ur units who are using holy as well this able is very powerful in this game because essentially it nullifies the unit for a while so by equipping this on her she can be a very good supporting bash your face in type of unit after she's done supporting her unit and she can be a very destructive unit meaning that she can take a lot of units out of combat by simply taking her turn and just smashing them over the head and causing this able now obviously she's going to be pretty slow as well so this entire team is fairly slow and if you're going to be doing these three units in pvp ideally you don't want to be targeting very very fast units like ninjas and gitong and, and assassin and things of those nature because you're probably going to get messed up by those units because they're just going to run laps but the great news is you can obviously easily target a specific resistance so meaning if you're targeting slash right and all three units have probably 60 70 maybe even 100 percent then chances are even though those units are running laps against you you still be able to take them all down eventually given the fact that they're not going to do any damage to you and you can heal and you can do damage and that's what makes this combo of the sisterhood very very good and i think that's what attracts a lot of players to this because they're not very good in terms of hp they're not very fast but their resistances are through the wall or through the wall through the roof so if you're actually targeting them in terms of building resistances you can actually trivialize many of the encounters you're going to have in pvp so one thing i want to know that about these three units though especially whisper is many people call her the whale unit because of the fact of what exactly what i was talking about the resistances if you're targeting resistances you're unfortunately going to have to build a lot of armor a lot of espers a lot of vision cards to really target those resistances I think that's where why people call it the whale unit. You're going to have to spend a lot of your resources building those up. But to that I say this. If you're really building those things, you can just equip them to a lot of your other units. Many units have really good solid resistances in terms of slash. I believe there are several units like Lorenzo I'm building have an innate ability of 20 or 25% slash resistance. So right off the bat, you're not really hurting yourself in terms of you know giving your units the trifecta as you will and building them because ultimately they're just investments you're investing for the long haul you're investing on all of your units because you're not just targeting whisper right in certain encounters you're going to be slapping those espers you're going to be slapping those vision cards on all of your units porcelain tower is definitely one example and of course given us challenge part two tomorrow we're going to see how strong and just how much of a resistance do we really need against those units I kind of wish I had all three of them built right now to all max, everything's all ready to go because then actually I can probably target some of those enemy units. But one thing the game likes to do is balance, right? We talked about this many times. Balance is key to this game and the key to success of this game over the long term. And one of the things about challenges, especially the brutal difficulty is, is that they like to give you a mishmash of enemy units. You have slash, you have pierce, you have probably strike and definitely magic. So when you're trying to encounter PvE content, it's a little bit hard to actually just say, well, let's go ahead and make sure all my characters are targeting one specific resistance because it's not gonna work. Unfortunately, you do need a well-balanced team. Now, I feel like the three sisters is pretty well-balanced. They all have pretty high resistance as is. The only thing you need to really supplement them in PvP, or excuse me, PvE, is perhaps boosting some of their defense, some of their spirit, and definitely try to give them as much HP as possible. Because one thing these units lack severely is HP. Chances are they're probably gonna still get one shot in unless you specifically have perhaps some defense and spirit to fend off some of those nasty attacks from the brutal challenge units. And I believe when I use Grace, she wasn't able to get one shot about enemy units, but they only probably took one or two hit bring her down to almost death you know, essentially I have to take the entire turn to heal her back and that's why it's crucial to have a good tank 
and Whisper can come in and become a very good tank for you. Given the fact that she has Spellblade, which is considered one of the really essential jobs in this game in terms of tanking besides Paladin. She's actually just solid as is. But the more and more you stack things on her, the more and more I realize, man, she can take some damage and deal some damage. If you want to use her for damage, definitely Samurai is way to go, right? Doing that high damage, she can really whip out some damage. And not taking damage and dealing good damage is pretty much what you're really aiming for in terms of building tanks and or bruiser types. I can't wait to take all three units to perhaps do some arena show off, but keep in mind, right? This account isn't fully equipped to show off specific units. I am not like a Kraken or a Poseidon where some of the other players on YouTube are showcasing. Because to see the true power of each individual unit, you really have to have almost everything maxed. But the good news is I'm also not very high ranked in Arena. So that gives me the opportunity to challenge my opponents who are pretty much at the same level as me to kind of showcase off where you need to be. And I think that's the great thing about this game. Everything is relative, right? Just because you're super strong pretty much means you're going to be fighting your opponents who are also super strong near the same level as you, maybe even better than you. And no matter where you're at in this game in terms of progression, you're only going to be pitted against enemies that are going to be roughly the same level as you, in terms of PvP of course. In terms of PvE obviously, you're going to have to go on and take that challenge to try to beat as much of the content as possible. And so far I haven't had really too many issues on this free to play account. Even though my units aren't exactly a humongous, you know, you know, army of level 99s and an army of meta uh, characters, if you will. I am very selective of the units I build on this account. And I realize you don't really have to build too many units to be successful. In fact, the fact that I actually showed that I got the ring from the porcelain tower, and I'm going to show you again just to prove that I have it. Here it is. And by the way, I, already, I actually rolled through the porcelain tower twice already on this account. And each time I realized I only use a few units to be very successful. And I think that's the key is don't be too straight away from the idea that you need to build every single unit that comes out. Really try to hone in on making a few units really, really strong. For me, my solid team is going to be Ayaka, well, obviously Orlando, now Delita is joining and then Shadow Links, Mediana, and then actually I use Moth only. And of course in the future, I'm going to probably use Whisper as my tank. And maybe I'll build up another tank. And I'm really looking at Dario. So I think that's all the time for this video. I'm really excited about the Trinity Sisterhood going forward. I think a lot of folks have already built their Trinity Sisters and done exceptional job, exceptional job on content. But for me, I can't wait to show off content on my channel in terms of making sure that I get the ultimate satisfaction of playing with these units. So until next time, take care of yourself, all your loved ones. Remember, time your most valuable resource. So spend it wisely. Nash Taters and his family out of here. Peace out.